Hello and welcome back to Faith Talks. It is such a privilege to talk to you through these small videos and share the word of God. So please make sure that you share these videos with your friends and so that they can also be blessed. The word of God says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as you keep hearing, faith will develop. And as faith grows in your heart, the next step is you will walk in victory. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of God's word in our life. See, Jesus came to this earth not just to die for our sickness, not just for our remission of sins, not just to give us eternal life, but to give us the powerful living word of God. In John chapter 17, he is having this conversation with his heavenly father. He says, Father, I have given them your word. So the word you have, the Bible you have, every scripture that you have is a gift from your heavenly father for you to walk in victory. I always say, the word is like an instruction manual for you to live an optimal life, to live a life of blessings. So now as you place your faith and draw out of what God says about you, this is a secret to live a life of victory. Let me start by sharing this. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, it says, For the word of God is living and it is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and joints and marrow and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of heart. See, the word that you have in front of you is not a non-living thing. It is alive and it has the capacity to talk to you. So as I always say, read the word of God. I'm not saying that you do it religiously. Okay, you start, I have to read one chapter today and that is my task and I finish it. So if you're doing religiously, you will never have any fruit of it. But if you read it and let that word speak to you, that is why it is alive. It has the capacity to communicate to you. The word can speak to your spirit. It can revive your spirit. It can give you, uh, it can give you peace. It can calm your anxious mind. That is why the word of God is alive. So read. Maybe you don't have to read 20 pages. Read until the voice of God speaks to you. And this word has the power to speak to you. Word of God is powerful and it is alive. It is alive because it has the capacity to speak to you. And it is powerful because it has the capacity to break down every stronghold in our mind. Maybe we have grown up and we believe that, okay, this is the best that I can do. I have sickness in my body and maybe it will never get healed. But as you dwell on the word of God, as you stay in the word of God, you know what will happen? Every stronghold of the devil in your mind will be broken and your mind will be renewed to the truth of God's word, that the will of God is for me to live a life of blessing, of health, and of joy. That is why the word of God says, kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So anything that does not fit here is not a will of God. And I have the access into the kingdom of God. And all of this, my friends, is wrapped in this amazing gift, which is the word of God. So I want to challenge you today that become people who give importance to the word of God. Maybe you've neglected the ministry of the word of God. You've not given it much importance. But today I want to challenge you that become people that honor the word of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, it talks about the word of God. It says, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So Jesus is saying, as important is the bread more important is the word of God. So if you are a born again believer, listening to the word of God, reading the word of God, staying under the teaching of the word of God is as important as your food. It is a spiritual food for your body. Just as you need food for your flesh and your body, your spirit man needs to eat of the word of God. It needs to feed on the word of God. And as it does, your soul is being revived. Your strength is being revived. Your mind is being renewed to the truth of God. Let, let me read another scripture to explain this. Psalms chapter 119 verse 130, it says, The entrance of your word gives light and it gives understanding to the simple. You see, you can enter into a room filled with treasures, with gold, silver, precious things that you can desire. But if there is no light, you will have no understanding of everything that is inside the room. But the moment light comes, you will now understand that what I have here in this room. Similarly, this is what the word of God does. The word of God gives you light to understand your inheritance in Christ. 
the more you dwell on the word of God, the more you fill your heart with the word of God, the more you have light about the word of God. And this light gives you understanding. Another scripture says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to all my path. So as you dwell on God's word, it will give you light and directions. Maybe you don't know where your next step is, but dwell on the word of God. It is a lamp to your feet. It will show you your next step. Maybe you're feeling that you're on a crossroad. You don't know where to go. Dwell in the word. Let the word speak to you. Don't treat the word as an object that you have to finish doing. Read a certain chapters or or do it in a religious sense. Let the word talk to you. Let the word become alive in your heart. And as it does, you know, your life will transform. Your life will become a life which is backed by the amazing testimonies of goodness of God in your life. You see, Mark chapter 4, Jesus is talking to us through this parable. And he says, if you don't understand this parable, it is pretty much difficult for you to understand anything in the kingdom. And what is this parable? Jesus is talking about two things. He's saying, the seed and the ground. What is the seed? The seed is the word of God. The sower sows the seed. And it fell in many different kind of grounds. I don't have time to explain all of this, but I want to talk about two of these grounds. The first ground is the wayside ground. You see, when you go out on the street, what do you see? Do you see gold or diamonds on the street on the wayside? You see trash, things that are not important, things that nobody cares about wrappers, papers, things like that have no importance to people's life. That is what is on the wayside. And that is how many people treat the word of God. They come and sit in church. The moment the word starts preaching, their mind is zoned off. They're thinking about a thousand things. And that is an attitude of a wayside ground. I want to challenge you, my dear friends, if you are in that place where you have not treated the word of God rightly and with honor, I want to challenge you, become a person that gives reverence and honor to God's word. And God says, the good ground, the word of God as a seed goes into the ground and it brings about 30, 60 and 100 fold harvest. So the seed is God's word. In the Bible, there are more than 8,000 scriptures for you which carries promises of God. You see, each of this word is like a seed. Now what you do with the seed is take that seed and plant it in the good ground of your heart and treat it with honor, treat it with reverence. You see, I always tell the people of my church, when you come to church, don't treat the ministry of the word of God lightly because this is where God speaks to you. This is where seeds are sown into your heart. And as you take these seeds back, these seeds will now grow up and bring you to a place of victory, bring you to a place of joy, peace. So as you become people who honor the word of God and let the word of God sink into your heart and the word becomes like a seed and goes, it will definitely bring about a great harvest in your life. David is saying this and he's writing the psalm, he's saying, how can I as a young man walk in the ways of the Lord and live a life free of sin? He says, by hiding your word in my heart. David understood this. He said, if I have to live a life where I have to defeat sin and walk in purity, I have to base my life on God's word. So he says, I have hidden your word in my heart so that I might not sin against you. My dear friends, I want to challenge you today. Become people that honor the word of God. And as you honor the word of God, sit under the teaching of the word of God, the word of God will bring about amazing transformation in your life. Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it talks about faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That is why it is highly important that you keep hearing the word of God. You see, the word hearing is not that, okay, I go to church, Sunday I've heard what the pastor preached and I've understood it. No, it is hearing because it says, present continuous verb so i keep hearing i keep meditating i'm not saying that now you're always hearing the word of god i'm not saying that i'm saying that let the word go into your heart and let it keep speaking to you whenever you're faced with challenges and problems let the word speak to you maybe you're faced with lack but there is a word in your heart which says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want let that word speak to you. You relax and stay rested on the word of God. I know that the Lord is my shepherd. And as long as he is my shepherd, I shall not lack any good thing. Dwell in the promises of God. Stay in God's word. 
And as long as you stay in God's word, you will have a life of inheriting every promises of God in our life. My dear friends, I want to challenge you today. Become people, become men and women that honor and reverence the word of God. And as you do it, see, and you come to Sunday, you're not just saying, okay, I have to somehow survive what the pastor is going to preach, but sit with expectation. God, what do you want to speak to me? See, see, the word of God, which is spoken by any man, it is the word of God. Don't look at the delivery boy. Look at the parcel that is being received. So as you sit on a Sunday, receive what God is saying to you through your pastor. Receive what God wants to communicate to you through the speaker. And as you receive it in your heart and take it back, as you go home, dwell on those things. Meditate on those things. That is why it says, meditate on these things. And as you meditate on these things, you will know that your mind is now being renewed. You see, all these things which were spoken against you, now when you read the word of God and meditate on these things, your mind is being renewed for victory. My dear friends, once again, I want to challenge you. Become people that honor God's word. Stay under the teaching of the word. Stay under the ministry of the teaching of God's word and let the word of God work in your heart. And as you keep doing this, your life will be backed by amazing testimonies of God. I wanna pray for you friends. Let's all close our eyes and let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just wanna pray Lord for everyone listening to my voice, Father. I pray Lord that you would give them ears to hear your word and understanding, Lord. Father, maybe they have lived a life of not giving importance to the word of God, but Father, from today, as they give importance and reverence to your word, Father, as they honor your word, Father, I pray that everything in their life will begin to change, Lord. Sicknesses will disappear. Father, every lack will be converted into abundance and they will enjoy amazing health and amazing blessings of the Lord in their life, Father. I pray that you would impart to them a hunger for your word and for your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining in today. Please share this with your friends and I'll see you again. Bless you.